Hi everybody, this is Go Green PM. I'm uh, down here at the campsite this weekend and I've decided, I've been using an, an old uh, computer stereo with a little sub and it's, it draws quite a bit. It draws I think four amps when it's running and uh, not entirely impressed about that. So I'm going to, I put a stereo in this tractor, but right now, I'm, every time I go near this thing, there's wasps, and they're really big wasps, and there's one right there. I'll see if I can show you one when they land, because they're huge, so I think they've uh, made a nest somewhere in their roof, or I don't even know where they're getting in. I found a little nest just under there, but I took it down already, but... Uh, Somehow they're getting inside, and that's where the stereo is. So, I've actually got the forks on it right now. Oh, they're buried in the dirt. But, it, uh, it actually looks funny with the, the forks on it, because they're not very wide. Well, they are actually, in fact, pretty wide, but not as wide as the bucket. And, uh, we were about to trim some trees and stuff and we built a big platform I will actually uh, take a walk over there in a little bit and show you that it's for uh, for trimming the trees here so we lift it up with the tractor and uh, yeah so I'm uh, eventually gonna put this one up for sale and uh, and buy something smaller I know after I paint it and clean it up I should be able to get a good price for it it is a good running tractor it starts up every time and uh, got a new starter on it new back tires and the tires on the front still has some good tread on there is some weather cracking but they have tubes on them anyways and this rim's gonna get replaced because it's really bad I've never seen anything like that before I don't know who would ever do that to a rim and why not <clears throat> just go out and buy another one so I guess price because uh, they're expensive and I still can't afford one yet so I will eventually get one before I sell it and uh, yeah so I'll show you the stereo I've already got the speakers over at my trailer that I'm going to use and every time I do this I see a bunch of wasps there's the stereo it's hanging up here and last time I did this, I almost got stung. So that's the stereo. So I've got to pull these nuts out, unwire it. There's an antenna i got to take out. So that means I've got to lift the cap of this roof, which all that's getting, the insulation's getting replaced, and I have leather to go over top of that. It's black, it's not exactly the same as this but it'll look nice when I'm done so I'm gonna take this uh, the stereo down and uh, go from there alright this is where I've decided to put my stereo inside the trailer it's uh, actually a shoe rack and it just happens to have a shelf right at the top and now I have a stereo that fits right in there so now I need to get all the wiring hooked up and I can get rid of this stereo and this is going to be the speaker that's going to go on the shelf in there oh, it's got tweeters and mids it'll, uh, it'll sound pretty good I think okay now I've got all the components out here so the connections just for a second uh, the clip or the crimpers for that voltmeter um, this is an antenna package, 11 bucks at Walmart. This is how I'm going to attach it, just because of the way I have it in my panel. So I'm going to wire it directly in that way so that I can uh, shut it off when I leave at the end of the week and it's not drawing any power. And uh, that's the main harness for the stereo. It's kind of short. I'm going to take this tape off and clean it up. Speaker wire and the speaker.
So I'm going to uh, get it mounted right in there and uh, and then run the wires up straight from there. So I need to find out the length of my wires. These wires right here to the red here and the yellow. And that's my uh, constant power and switch power. So you have to run both of them. So. Alright, I'm going to find it the length of my wire and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there's the stereo all hooked up. Running, runs up there. Up and plugs into there. And that's, I'm going to run my iPhone off of that FM transmitter. And there's the speakers. I broke the antenna wire right at the last minute as I was tightening it down, of course. So I've got to try to fix that, but that's all I have left and it's working. Just go green PM, signing off.